So this video is the multiple choice questions for the AP physics exam for the topic of waves. And it can also be used as practice for the IB and GCSE exams. So for the first question, what is the wavelength of a 5 Hz wave that travels with a speed of 10 m per second? So the speed of a wave is equal to its wavelength times its frequency. So the wavelength is equal to the speed over frequency equal to 10 m per second over 5 Hz. So Hz is second to the minus 1. And this gives a wavelength equal to 2 meters. So the answer is D. So for question 2, a rope of length 5 meters is stretched to a tension of 80 newtons. If its mass is 1 kilogram, at what speed would the 10 hertz transverse wave travel down the string? So the speed of a transverse traveling wave on a stretched rope is given by the equation V equals square root of Ft over mu where Ft is the tension in the rope and mu is the linear mass density which is mass over length. So V is equal square root of 80 newtons over 1 kilogram over 5 meters and this gives V equal to 20 meter per second. And the answer is C. So for question 3, a transverse wave on a long horizontal rope with a wavelength of 8 meters travels at 2 meters per second. At t is equal to 0, a particular point on the rope has a vertical displacement of plus a, where a is the amplitude of the wave. At what time would the vertical displacement of the same point on the rope be minus a? So this is the wave traveling at 2 meters per second. And this is the wavelength from this point to this point equal to 8 meters. So this is a transverse wave. So a point in the medium would be oscillating perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave. So if we take this point here, it would be moving in simple harmonic motion up and down between A and minus A. So for the point to go from A to minus A, it would take half a period because it represents the wave traveling half a wavelength. And for the point to go from A to minus A and back to A, it represents one period or the wave traveling one wavelength. So the period is equal to 1 over frequency equal to wavelength over speed equal to 8 meters over 2 meters per second equal to 4 seconds. And so half a period is 2 seconds and the answer is D. So for question 4, the vertical displacement y of a transverse traveling wave is given by this equation with x and y in centimeters and t in seconds. What is the wavelength? So the standard equation for a transverse traveling wave has the form of y is equal to a sine omega t plus or minus kx, where omega is the angular frequency and k is the angular wave number. So k is equal to 2 pi over lambda and has the unit of centimeter to the minus 1. So as you can see, k here is equal to pi over 2 centimeters to the minus 1 equal to 2 pi over lambda. And so lambda is equal to 4 centimeters. And the answer is d. So for question 5, a string fixed at both ends supports a standing wave with a total of 4 nodes. If the length of the string is 6 meters, what is the wavelength of the wave? So as you can see, this is a standing wave with 4 nodes. And this is one wavelength. So the distance between two nodes is always equal to half a wavelength. So if a standing wave on a string fixed at both ends has a total of four nodes, the string must have a length equal to three of half wavelengths. So if L is equal to six meters, the lambda is equal to 12 meters over three equal to four meters. And so the answer is E. So for question 6, a string fixed at both ends has a length of 6 meters and supports a standing wave with a total of 4 nodes. If a transverse wave can travel at 40 meters per second down the rope, what is the frequency of this standing wave? So from the previous questions for 4 nodes and L equal to 6 meters, lambda is equal to 4 meters. And because V is equal to 40 meters per second, the frequency of the standing wave is equal to V over lambda equal to 40 meters per second over 4 meters equal to 10 hertz and the answer is b
So for question 7, a sound wave travels through a metal rod with wavelength lambda and frequency f. Which of the following best describes the wave when it passes into the surrounding air? Whether it will have less or greater wavelength or less or greater frequency. So in general, sound travels faster through solids than through gases. And so when the wave enters the air from the metal rod, its speed will decrease, but the frequency will not change. And because f is equal to f lambda, then a decrease in speed implies a decrease in wavelength and so the answer is a so when the sound wave travels from the metal to the air it will have less wavelength and the same frequency so for question 8 in the figure below two speakers s1 and s2 emit sound waves of wavelength of 2 meters in phase with each other so let ap be the amplitude of the resultant wave at point p and aq the amplitude of the resultant wave at q how does AP compare to IQ? So as you can see, the distance between S2 and P is equal to 5 meters, as you can find using this triangle. And the distance between S1 and P is 4 meters. So the difference between the path lengths to point P is 1 meter. And 1 meter is half a wavelength. So the sound waves are always exactly out of phase when they reach point P from the two speakers, causing destructive interference. By contrast, since point P is equal distance from the two speakers, the sound waves will always arrive in phase at Q, interfering constructively. So since there is destructive interference at P and constructive interference at Q, the amplitude of the resultant wave at P will be less than the amplitude of the resultant wave at Q. And so the answer is A. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.